hello friends welcome back to my channel so today we are going to talk about a nursing care plan for a patient who came with unstable asthma but the problem she is experiencing is reduced mobility and we'll consider that her name is mrs a and we will talk about reduced mobility in this care plan okay nursing problem so we'll say Mrs. A is having reduced mobility due to weakness in her left leg. And then the next thing we need to write is aim of care. Aim of care will be Mrs. A will mobilize with assistance and will perform her ADLs, activities of daily living within the limit of her disease. Then we need to give a re-evaluation date. So the re-evaluation date would be to be re-evaluated today. And then in the bracket you can write the date on each shift or if her clinical condition changes okay and then after that we need to write care provided by the nurse we will use a MR tarot method E for explain M for monitoring A for assisting T, T for teaching and A for administration and then R for refer I for instructions and D for documentation. So we'll start with the first one. E, explain and discuss all aspects of care and gain concern for every intervention. So explain and discuss all aspects of care to Mrs. A and gain concern for every intervention. The second one will be monitor and record Mrs. A's observations according to the news chart and escalate if needed and then the third one would be assist mrs a with her activities of daily living while avoiding patient dependency number four teach mrs a deep breathing exercises and repositioning techniques for comfort number five administer to mrs a her prescribed medications and monitor their effectiveness Number six, refer Mrs. A to physiotherapist and occupational therapist as needed. Number seven, instruct Mrs. A the proper use of call bell and place it within her reach. Number eight, document all Mrs. A, Mrs. A's care as planned. So if we are using the method, method we'll be having eight nursing care provided by the nurse. But in the exam, you can write like five that's maximum but if you have time you can go further okay and uh, the, now we will do the self-care activities the first one would be mrs a verbalizes understanding of her plan of care and gives concern number two mrs a properly uses the call bell when, when needing assistance number three mrs a performs her ADLs with minimal assistance number four mrs a actively participates in her plan of care so in the self-care activities you maximum need to write three but if you have time of course then you can go further you can write more i've given you four for the self-care activities and i've given you eight for the care provided by the nurse and there are some basics one which you can repeat in every care plan as I said in my previous video, explain and discuss, concern, and then documentation, administration of the medication, and uh, monitoring of the observations. These ones you can write in every nursing care problem, but uh, at least two you should have according to your situation or you, according to your problem which you have diagnosed. So I think. I think then you would be fine. So I hope this help this video help help you. And then if you have any questions about the planning or any part of the OSCE, please don't hesitate to contact me. Okay, or you can always uh, comment in the section below if you feel like you have any queries or you are worried about anything. Please let me know, and I'll be try I'll try my best to answer your queries. And um, we will say see i will see you in the next video okay thank you so much and if you like my video please subscribe like and share with your friends who are preparing for oski okay thank you take care bye bye